<laughs> Wait a minute. Where did the under eye go? She is, she's disappeared. On Till Dawn is my favorite setting up. spray. Oh, it is? Ever. Did you get that? <laughs> Ever. Were you still rolling on that yes. one? And she's here on my channel. Hey guys, it's Patrick Stone. Welcome back to my channel. We have Winnie Hollow in the house. Hello. Today, Ariel is Arielling. Yes. You joined me today to give you this beat look. Yes, I reincarnated Ursula from the depths of this corset to put her in drag, Zario. From the depths, because you snatched. Yes, we are snatched today okay. in honor of the latest and greatest Little Mermaid, the movie coming out next year featuring Halle Bailey. I said, you know what? I saw that winning. Come on now. Just 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 do me one. Just do me one. Come on my channel. Mm -hmm. And you said, I said, of course, honey. Yes, we are here, y'all. I'm so excited. You guys have seen, I've done Earth so many times. This bra has seen many a celebrity. And I was like, Winnie, we gotta put you in drags. Like, we got the hair. She even has the dress completed. Mm -hmm. We are gonna be featuring K Skin and One Size Beauty, the Disney Vaults collection, the Disney Fantasia and One Size collection. So, without further ado, please enjoy this tutorial. There are a lot of gems dropped. There is a giveaway. And let's get into it. Let's dive in. Deep water. Oh, good, girl. <laughs> this is my channel. Watch out. <laughs> My sweet child, we are here. You guys saw the intro on Welcome Glam. to my channel. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to say that on YouTube. <laughs> you need YouTube, girl. You have the vlogs and, and everything. We love it. But this has been way long overdue, and I'm so excited. I got in drag at 8 a.m. this morning just to be Ursula for this. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. We're going to jump into the brows. It was so funny. We were just saying how makeup artists are so scared to do your makeup and why. People just get scared by the things that they don't know. I really love when a makeup artist will do my makeup and be like i'm just gonna follow your lead and like tell me what you think is you know best i feel like i also do my makeup so sometimes makeup artists tell me that it's intimidating to do someone's makeup so, who yes. can do their makeup well if you guys see the gorgeous that be like this is all natural but sometimes a girl just wants to get glam so i was like do we cover this mm -hmm. and do the full eye because i always see winnie with a smoky ass eye for me i love to go kind of like a bare natural look but when I do a full beat I really want my eyeshadows to pop both my mom and my dad have really dark eyes so because I have vitiligo in some areas it's completely white so that contrast of that darkness you can really see through eyeshadows all right guys so I snatched her brows because the red was just giving red and we had to match it now that the brows are snatched we're gonna prep the skin with K skin mm -hmm. Talk to us. This is Isle Glow. This is a face lotion with SPF 45. And then we have Deep Water Lip Mask. My obsession since you debuted it at your little party. We, we're going to just prep the skin with this. So I'm going to go in and moisturize my lips because I'm getting a little dry right now. All my products have sea moss, which is really big to me because I am Jamaican. And that is something that my family has been using for ever oh my gosh the smell on this mm, it's like a brown sugar vanilla type scent I'm really really obsessed Ooh, that could glow mm -hmm. oh and, and that's, that's the you tutorial you guys <laughs> i really love it for that good glow especially under makeup i wear it every day that good base for under makeup is so important you want to make sure that you're always protecting your skin from the sun oh my gosh I know that's right. I know, oh. next to my dry looking purple ass, yes. <laughs> you know when I first, when we first met, you were like, oh my God, I've seen your videos. And I was like, no way. That always makes me laugh. Whenever I see YouTube stars, uh -huh. I get so gassed because I'm such a YouTube nerd. Like when I was 16 and to this day, I still, when I'm doing my makeup, I'll act like I'm doing a YouTube video. Welcome, Welcome to my channel, channel guys. Oh my God. So this is K-Skin. K -Skin. And now I'm here. So this is a great full circle moment for me. Right. I've been watching Patrick forever. And that's how I got to learn how to do my makeup. And talk to us about K-Skin and, and when you started that brand. 
I basically was on a shoot in the Bahamas and they didn't want me to apply sunscreen because Ooh. it was leaving like a blue cast. It was the worst decision I could have made because mm. I got the worst sunburn of oh my, my entire God. life. But sunscreen is something that is not just about vanity, it's about your health. I was like, you know what? There is a gap in the market for a sunscreen that looks great on all skin tones and protects you from the sun. And I also want it to be true to me and to my heritage. Okay, here, here we go. Here we go, tell us, tell here us. Here we go, us. so really you're supposed to pronounce C-A-Y as key. key. When you Caribbean, you mm -hmm. really do say key. I felt like if I pronounce it key, a lot of people who straight up just see C-A-Y, they're gonna pronounce it as K. Okay. And I didn't want to confuse people, so my Caribbean people will still come to me and be like, girl, isn't it key? You are correct. So as you guys can see now, Patrick has concealed the eye mm. just to make sure that all the shadows are gonna pop on that. <gasps> what is a Disney tutorial without a Disney palette? I think you're the first like oh, so person excited. that I'm using it on other than bottles and things and myself. So this is the Disney Fantasia Storybook palette. And I was like, we have to use this for Miss Ariel under the sea Necessary. realness, Harlow. So this is our Disney Fantasia collection and, and this will be in the giveaway on our social media. So be sure to follow us there and there'll be a special holiday bundle that we'll be giving away too. With K-Skin. Yes. How excited are you about this collaboration? It's like so unreal. Like I think my my life has been like moving so fast. Even to be sitting here with Winnie Harlow doing her makeup, supermodel superstar. You know what hit me the other day? Can I, can I just say bitch? I totally like went over my head and I was like, oh my God, Winnie, she's just so down to earth. She's just such a boss ass bitch. And I was like, this girl collabed with Kim Kardashian for KKW. Oh, that collaboration was so incredible to me. And it kind of was the first thing that I got to experience where it was like something of my own as well. Even though it was Kim's brand, she gave me so much free reign over like the colors that I chose, the names that I chose. I was kind of like creating my own ideas. And mm -hmm. that was the first time I'd ever gotten to do something like that. People uh, stay within their comfort zone, but you're always pushing your limits. <laughs> Can I just say like, Witty is giving drag Okay, she's giving drag today because, you know, she was up in the fashion week gigs and everything and I was like, I've never seen her in big hair in a while because she was giving the hot little swoop. Though this is my real me. I know, I love it. This is what I, I'm here for, honestly. We love it. We this is when I feel it. my my realist. Mm -hmm. We are just giving Miss Little Mermaid some smoky action up in here. What's so cool about this palette, by the way, guys, is that Disney allowed me to pick the exact Pantones that they used in the movie. So this broomstick color, for real, we got to go to the vaults at Disney and actually see the actual color swatched that color from the ink, brought it to the lab, and created this eyeshadow called Broomstick. Same with this dark color. This is Mickey's tongue for the blush. I just love uh, collaborating and being able to put this on Winnie. All these colors I feel like I would use for any type of look. Well, you know, being one size and one size fits all, I wanted to make sure that multiple generations could wear this if they wanted to wear it to the mm -hmm. park or a Disney event. Do you have any favorite drag queens and least favorite drag queens? RuPaul is actually one of my faves. I was RuPaul for the first time I had ever done a Halloween costume and the first time I had ever done drag as well. And then I actually got to do the campaign as the 25th year anniversary. What do you think it takes now as a model to sustain a career? I think it depends on the career that you're looking for. I had to grow to get to the place where I'm at. And in my growth, I always had to tread between the line of model and the celebrity aspect that I started to grow for myself. In order to grow in a sustainable way in my career where I have big campaigns, I do want to cater to the celebrity aspect. But then when it comes to like fashion week and stuff, you kind of want to not really cater to that. Now they really want you to like sit front row and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, like I love that. But I also want to walk the show sometimes, you know? Mm. So like balancing the two. Mm -hmm. My favorite is when I get to walk and sit shows in one season. That is kind of like- my... Imagine you walk and then you sit. And then you sit. <laughs> and then you walk. You don't even walk back, you just sit. And that's a great concept <laughs> for a show actually. My career and my career path, I never really had someone to 
look to for what my career was going to look like or what it could look like. In all the things and all the choices that I make in the things that I do in my career, I want to make sure that there is that representation. Do you have a favorite princess? Comment down your favorite Disney princess below. I think I've always loved Ariel just because she's someone who saw something that was out of reach or so she thought was out of reach. And I think I resonate a lot with that when it came to starting up in any industry i just kind of went for it and i never gave up and i feel like she did that all right the eyes are done we are lash and lifted it is giving disney princess and i'm excited because we're about to turn up the base with winnie harla um i wanted to say if you have the hair color we have a lot of red and winnie is very golden try to bring a little bit of that warmth into the face because sometimes it can look a little bit too green yellow if we don't do that so i'm gonna just go ahead and take some full coverage because we are giving disney drag today only read once before this is the second time i don't know if you guys can even notice but we really given the faux locks shout out to Halle bailey what was your reaction when you first saw the trailer girl it was more so seeing all the little brown girls around the world seeing it for the first time and seeing themselves mm -hmm. in a disney princess that really really did something for me was it just me or was that with Whitney Houston? I'm just going around the lighter areas and we're just going to go ahead and clean it up with a Q-tip and that we get the iconic Winnie look. What's your guilty pleasure? Give me some oxtail. Give me some stoofies and rice. We have so many things in our in our culture being Caribbean that I feel like people would turn up their nose to. And so whenever I travel the world, I'm so blessed to be able to travel a lot. I like to be able to indulge in other cultures. I have a personal question. Mm -hmm. So being like a, a boss and everything and being so gorgeous, how do you lock down a relationship? How do you keep your, your identity in check? Me and my man, we've been dating for almost three years now. Mm -hmm. And I think the way that we continue to make it work is communication, which everybody is so cliche, like communication is key, but it really is key. Being that we're both such busy people. I'm a, a model, He's, he plays in the NBA. That mutual respect for each other and our careers. Woo! Wait a minute, where did the under eye go? She is, she's disappeared. This is the ultimate setting powder, the ultimate. I use um, really medium two under the eyes. It has like a rosy undertone. I use medium five. And it's like the five. whole background and yes. everything. Medium five, turn up the base uh, powder foundation on the outside. I use the ultimate setting powder underneath. I know this because I use it, the Isle Glow SPF under the skin is just making everything look good. Because I'm a model and a part of my, my life is travel, I have been so many places. We just kind of make it work too with like our careers. During fashion week, like he came to New York and you know went to some shows and came and saw me walk uh, and all that. What is that like? Is he just like a proud man? He's proud, he's definitely proud. I get to go to different states and watch him play basketball. Mm. One of my bucket list places was Hawaii. I always wanted to go to Hawaii. And he knew that from like, when we first started talking and mm -hmm. he took me to Hawaii. He really wants to experience new places. So oh, once we go good. somewhere, he's kind of like, okay, cool, we did that. Where's the next place? I'm somewhere and I go somewhere, I fall in love, I want to go back. Me too. Yeah. I'm trying to get him into that vibe, especially because like I'm Jamaican. And so one place in the world that I always go to and I've been since I was a kid, I definitely have my bearings there is Jamaica. One thing I'm really going to try to get into too is whenever you were doing the shadow on my eye, I realized mm. you were really getting into to my lash line and I feel like mm -hmm. those little things mm -hmm. really make a big oh, difference. They do, you know, especially if you're like on camera, which you are. Yeah, and I love powder foundation on the under eye because it just takes it just takes it there. It kicks off that like little translucent, maybe like cast. This just adds a little bit of color because it's translucent. This one right here is light five, which has a neutral rosy undertone. And we're just gonna go ahead and start to sketch. But it gives you a more jolly, happy appearance. Sometimes when you scoop the contour and scoop the blush a little bit too far in, it gives a little bit too fierce, but we want a smiley, princess you see my mm. contour i brought it all the way in now i'm giving that evil look go off. she real big so i just go around 
wear my vitiligo is and take the makeup off. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who have vitiligo or have something different about their face always want to know how I do my makeup. But what I always want to make clear, the way I do my makeup does not need to be how you do your makeup. I also want to make something very, very clear. Is you looking at me? You see me? Something that I really stand for, doing what makes you happy. I feel like a lot of people get misconstrued when I choose not to cover my skin. The reason being is it's how I like to do my makeup. Whatever I do is based off of what makes me happy. Don't let anyone make you feel uncomfortable with what makes you comfortable. So with makeup, it is one, one size, size fits all. Yes, it is. I got Mickey Mouse right here. Love. Just makes it all even. Makes it all cohesive. Like, uh, so I don't put any foundation on my vitiligo just because I feel like it looks like, like obvious. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I've drawn on my vitiligo, but mm. I will put powder so that it's not like matte here and then shiny here. Okay, so now that I have applied powder, I'm gonna take a little bit of the deep water lip mask here and just prep. This is literally so freaking gorgeous. And as that sets, check this out. May may or may not be in the giveaway. This one is our Disney highlighter called Bit of Magic. Ooh. The Disney pattern. And Disney then in the mirror. That's how you know I'm a fan, I already know. This gives like that wet, glittery look right here. I'm gonna take a little bit of this tip and put some on the brow bone, just so she looks like she just mm. came out of the water. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Sick. All right, now for lips, we're gonna go in with a, a natural, beautiful lip liner. We're gonna apply a nude gloss and go in with the Disney Limited Edition Gloss, opposite of the red, called Cloak Red. We're gonna finish off with Preserve the Serve, spray on Until Dawn for a long-lasting, waterproof look, because she's under the sea and we'll be right back for the finished look. All right, everyone, this is the finished look. You guys, be sure to check out Winnie Harlow. Thank you so much for joining Thank me on this princess me. transformation again. This is so much fun. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Be sure to check out K-Skin. Follow Winnie Harlow on all social media. Everything will be linked down below. Join our giveaway. We love you so much, and I hope to see you all in our next video. Bye. Sing for me. <laughs>